We all love and play online multiplayer games. The magical thing that allows us to connect with users kilometers away from us and play together and have a good time. But have you ever wondered how they actually work? And what about those bacon hairs flying around and ruining the fun for all the players? Well, in today's video we will explain all of this and more, so let's get to it! Let's start by explaining how Roblox online multiplayer structure works. In Roblox you have two important things, clients and servers. The server is the machine in charge of controlling almost everything crucial in the game through its world state. This includes the health of players, the position of objects, values, models, inventories, etc. The client on the other hand is the machine the player uses to run the game and connect to the server. When a client connects to a server, the client will download the current world state of the server and then apply it to its own world state. After the client has finished setting up a connection with the server, the server will then proceed to send any change that happens to its world state to the client. This is called replication. So for example, let's say we have a kill brick and a player's character walks into it. First the server will run the collision detection to check if the player stepped on the kill brick. If it did, the server will then set the player's health to zero, and then it will send the current health to all clients connected to the server. After the client receives the changes, it will then apply them to its world state and set the player's HP to zero. If an object or player moves, the same process happens. However, there is an exception to the rule that the server controls all crucial things, and one of these exceptions is the player's movement. In Roblox, the server will trust the client with the physics of its character, so if the character on the client's world state moves, the server will listen to this change and apply it on its own world state, then it replicates it to everybody else. Now here's where the real problem comes in. Since the server trusts the client's character's physics, using an executor, a rogue client is able to just change its physics so its character can fly and everyone else will be able to see him fly because the server listens to the character's position on the client and then replicates it to all other clients. Let's cover some more exploits possible thanks to other vulnerabilities within Roblox's online multiplayer structure. Every player's character contains an object called Humanoid. This object is in charge of managing most things related to a character's status such as health, state, speed, jump height, etc. By using an executor, it is possible to modify the client's humanoid properties to climb higher slopes, walk faster, jump higher, and have a higher hip height, and many more things. Humanoid have different states. These states determine most of the actions a character is doing. By using an executor, it is possible to use humanoid change state to change the humanoid state in a client's world state while reporting to the server a different state. For some strange reason, if the character in a client's world state dies, it will signal the server to also kill the character on the server's world state. This means even if you disable the reset button on your game, an exploiter can just use an executor to set its health to zero and die. Another strange thing that Roblox does is that when the property reject character deletions in the workspace is disabled, the server will listen to the client's world state, and if an object within the client's world state inside their character gets destroyed, the server will get signal to also destroy that object in the server's world state that was inside the player's character, and then replicate the changes to other clients. Remember how in the previous exploit I mentioned how exploiters could delete instances inside their character? Well, if an exploiter deletes their humanoid, they can quite literally become immortal since the instance managing their health is gone. 
This means that all scripts that try to set the humanoid's health will error because the humanoid no longer exists. Since the server trusts the client with calculating the physics for its own character, this means an exploiter can change the position of parts and hats inside their character and get it replicated to other clients. This is how they do those cool hat ring scripts and weapon scripts. Roblox uses a system called network ownership in order to combat latency and split the physics work between clients to save server performance. So basically, if you get close to an encore part, the server will hand over the player's client ownership of that part, and all the physics for that part will get calculated by the client's world state physics. By using an executor, it is possible to alter the client's world state physics to move these parts and even send them to the void to get them destroyed, potentially breaking the game. If a client plays an animation on its world state character, the server will listen to this change and also play the animation on the server's world state and then replicate it to other clients. This means an exploiter can use an executor to play animations they shouldn't be performing. Keep in mind that they can only play animations loaded into the game's place file. 